there we are, guys. We are now back for a bit more Sakura Cupid. Oh, you mean it? And welcome. My name is Shisha Anime, and welcome back to Sakura Cupid. Now, I've got to admit, I was actually very surprised to find out that I found an ending so early in the game. I'm not so sure if it counts as a good ending or a bad ending, because it seemed like we weren't too upset about it, but we did give up and everything, so I know Gabriel was, uh, pretty happy, let me just say. But now we're actually going to say we're not going to go down without a fight. So guys, let's prepare for battle! So that's your choice. Then come at me, Lilim. You might have been friends in the past, but I can't afford to show you any mercy now. I won't lose. Alright, bring it on. I transform into my Cupid uniform, then turn back at Mitsuki. I look back at Miss. Turn to look at Mitsuki. She stares back at me. This... This is what you did at the cafe, isn't it? And this morning? That's right. Oh. I thought maybe I was just seeing things. But you're really not a normal human, are you? There's nothing normal about me, Mitsu. <laughs> Do you know what she's, she's right? I, I see. This is a lot to take in. I know. Don't think about it too much. I press her hand against Mitsuki's chest. Her body is enveloped in a warm, protective wall of light. That... Probably used up uh, quite a lot of love tokens. I'm pretty low on love tokens since I don't go matchmaking nearly as much as Seda does. But I can hardly leave Mitsuki on her own. What if she gets her? Oh, Okay, you're actually protecting her. That's cool. Whatever. I'll be fine. Just sit tight, Mitsuki. I'll defeat Sarah, and then I'll take you home. Do you promise? I promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. I turn away from Mitsuki and look back at Seda. She's regarding my coolly, coolly, uh, regarding me coolly. There we go. Her eyes narrowed. So you used your powers to protect that human girl? Of course. I'm the one who was shot her, so she's my responsibility. Responsibility, huh? I never thought I'd hear you of all people talking about that. <laughs> Maybe I grew up a little during my exile after all. I'll just have to test that. Come, Venus. Wait. Oh! Oh damn! So she's got the Bow of Venus, which, um, if I remember, is supposed to be the goddess of uh, females. I think that might be a different um, religious thing, possibly. But that's a cool shot right there. Sela holds her right arm above her head in a flash of light. Her trusty bow appears in her hands. Her weapon looks impressive, but... Really, though? <laughs> Venus? That's such an unimaginative name. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, what do you suggest? I call one a weapon. Maybe something a little more threatening. But Cupid aren't supposed to threaten people. We're meant to bring love, love and happiness. What did you call your love guns anyway? Huh? Oh, this is Love Pounder. It's pleased to meet you. <laughs> love Pounder. <laughs> Oh, man. You know when you try and get couples together and you pull out the love pounder? Yeah, it's one of those lovely things. I wave my hand and my small automatic pistol appears in my hands. I grip it hard, savouring the cool material against my skin. Sarah looks at me quizzically. Love pounder? Yeah. Isn't it cool? It sounds... kinda dirty. Yeah, it does. <laughs> You're right. It only sounds dirty to those with dirty minds. Well played! Let him think like me, it's only dirty if you think it is. I, I don't! You're protecting! I think you're the one who's protecting my dear's darling Sarah. D don't call me that! Why not? I think it's a cute name. Sh shut up, idiot! Is idiot the best you've got? Shut up, shut up, shut up! Oh, the Cinderella bell! Hold on, I have to chime it! There we go. Cinderella bell has been rung. Sarah's face is heating up. It's bright red. Ah, oh, she's so adorable. She's so cute and she plunges like that. She really hasn't changed at all. Ah, oh, that's cute. I'm gonna end this right now. Prepare yourself. Oh. Oh, okay. Set a fires an arrow from her bow. It moves at supersonic speed, cleaving a path through the air. Oh, damn. I'm able to dodge. Just in time. The air pushes aside by the arrow's trajectory catches my face. My hair flutters wildly in the breeze. Damn, okay. The arrow hits a tree nearby and dissolves in a burst of pale blue particles. That sure packs some punch. Are you trying to kill me or something? Not kill. Cupid's aren't supposed to kill. Now, what's the big idea? I just thought I might... 
grievously injure you. Or he was trying to make me fall in love with you, or something. And I thought we were supposed to be friends. So did I, until you got yourself banished from heaven from being a no good layabout. Ouch. So you were, so you were lonely when I left? Oh, there we go. I, I wasn't lonely at all. Shut up. Is that why you're trying so very hard to bring me back, even if it hurts me? N no, I'm doing this for Lady Gabriel. Next time I won't miss. Well, there's a there's a losing flag if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Seda shoots another bow, uh, arrow from her bow, but her aim's off. Maybe she's shaken from our conversation. Poor little Seda. You're filled with determination, but you're so easily to so easy to manipulate. Aww. Kind of like no. Mine's the determination part. Do you know what? That's fair. You need to try harder than that, Seda. Then this. She lights a special arrow into the bow and shoots it. The arrow splits once, twice, three, four times in the air. Till a whole bevy of white light is raining down upon me. Oh, damn. Each and every arrow looks like it'll hurt. You're really serious about this, huh? Of course. I'm going to bring you back even if you're unconscious, Lilin. <laughs> How scary. Damn. Too bad for you. I can do this. <laughs> I conjure up another magic sealed shield. It absorbs most of the blows and of magical power arrows. There's a lot of them to deflect. I'm trying to act tough, but I don't have all that many to love tokens left. I can't keep making shields like this, or I'll be at a serious disadvantage. If I run out of love tokens, I won't be able to maintain my cube form, and then I won't be able to use my weapons. Oh yeah, this is risky then. I'll have to wrap this battle up as quickly as possible. Are we going to fight a love gun? Alright, Seda, I'm coming for you. That's too naive. I push against the ground with the heel of my right foot and soar up into the air. The wind rushes through my hair and whistles in my ears. Seda follows my movements with pinpoint precision. She loads another one of her special arrows and shoots it into the sky. The arrow splits apart. Dozens of arrows rain down on me from above, but that will be Seda's downfall. After firing off an arrow, she's unprotected. She doesn't have enough one loaded in her bow. Oh. If I can reach Seda faster than her arrows can reach me. If I can outfly the speed of a soaring arrow, there may be some hope yet. Yep, keep going, come on. It sounds impossible, but I can do it. I'll break through impossible odds. I will let a trick like that stop me, Seda. Just try and outpace my arrows then, Lilim. You are one of the best flyers in school, but not even you can bend the laws of physics. Yeah, we're just gonna see about that, won't we? Yeah, pretty much. I dash around the side of a tree. The arrows fall after me, chasing me. I kick up against the side of the trunk, hard. It propels me forwards, through the air. I'm faster now. Much faster before. Much faster than before, it should say. Come on. I can do it. I can reach Setup. I get up before the arrows pierce my wings. Hey, what? Setup realized my plan, but it's too late now. Hello. I'm moving too quickly. I have too much momentum. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay, oh, how the tables are turned. Would you like to sample my love powder now, dearie? <laughs> oh, God. Well, there we go. There's another quote. Would you like... Would you like to... Would you like my love powder, dearie? I grab hold of Setta. My fingers dig it, in, dig it around her side and press the barrel of my gun against her cheek. The arrows rain down on us, gouging chunks of earth and dirt out of the grassy ground. If they hit Seda, they'll hurt her too. She has no choice but to summon a shield around us, protecting both of us from our attack. Damn, nice. Seda inhales rapidly. Her chest rises and falls. Her whole body trembles. Am I gonna am I going to get her with a love bullet now? Seda's pressed up so close against me. I can hear the sound of her heart beating. I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. You are being so reckless. You don't usually break out of fancy attacks like that. You're too by the books. Well, Gabriel told me to do anything I could to win. I tried my best, but I guess I'm not used to handling magical arrows with such high amounts of energy. I didn't know how to utilize them. Don't be too hard on yourself, Setup. Lilim, you did a good job. Really? I was just starting to get a little worried. Well, you're too slow. You're too slow. You don't react quickly enough. You already thought you'd won with that second magical arrow, so you didn't load your bow. You couldn't shoot me down when I was flying towards you. 
That was your downfall. I guess. <sighs> You're a pretty quick thinker. I wish you had used some of that ingenuity in school. Well, school was boring. You could go. You could be a great Cupid if you tried hard. You know. You could be much better than me. I don't know why you're throwing your future away. I don't care about the future. I want to have fun in the prison. Fun, huh? Sometimes I wish I could be more like that. Well, you might have won this battle, but you won't win the war. I'll hunt you down to the very ends of the earth if I have to, and then I'll drag you back to heaven by your hair, kicking and screaming and... Mmm, nope. I'm not interested in all that. Sorry. And then I pulled a trick. There we go. We shot it with the love bullet. The love bullet passes straight through Seda's head. Pheromones invade her bloodstream like a foreign tox. <laughs> I made her fall in love with me, didn't I? She blinks. Her face flushes. She turns to look at me. And I look at him. And she looks at me. And I look at him. And she looks at me. And I look at him. <laughs> Lilim? That's right. I'm Lilim. Oh, oh, oh my. I, I can't. I... There we go. I can't believe we're standing this close together. I can't believe we're so close to the person I love more than anybody else in the world. <laughs> I get it a lot. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Does this count as mind control? Because, yeah, we're manipulating feelings, but we haven't hypnotized them. Lilum, you smell so good. I've heard that before too. You, you're so beautiful and charming and wonderful. I just, I, but please, let's have babies together. I'm begging you. Babies? Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Uh, that, that'll take a few things right now. Uh, that's going a bit too far. Just how strong are my love bullets anyway? Uh, pretty damn strong. <laughs> oh my. Love arrows are effective against cupids, but not to the same extent that they are on humans. The magics imbued within them tends to wear off pretty quickly. But maybe it's different with my love bullets. Oh yeah, they're stronger, so... Yeah, I think you just committed another sin right there. <laughs> I wonder how long Seda will be stuck in this lovey-dovey state. Well, doesn't really matter. I should have more than enough time to make a speedy retreat. Jesus Christ. I need a drink. Hold on. Let's open this up. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that, I needed a drink. My throat got a bit dry. Lilim, please tell me. I love you so much, but you don't look at me with long in the door eyes. Is there anything I can do to make you love me like I love you? Is there any way I can earn your affection? Well, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. If not, then there's no meaning to this hollow, empty life of mine, and I might as well die. Wait, hold on a minute. You don't need to go that far, Setter. Don't go that far, please. I don't want to get sued. What is it with my love bullets and suicidal desires anyway? Maybe I should look into that. Yeah, maybe you should. If you really want me to love you, the best thing you can do would be leaving me in my ski in peace. Go back to heaven, that's all I ask. G go back to heaven? But then I won't be able to see your face again. It's a price you'll have to pay if you want my undying love, I guess. I, I see. Oh no, that just makes me sad now. Dang it. I feel a little guilty about taking advantage of this setup, but it's the only way I can get her off my back. I know, I'm being underhanded, but it's all, but all's fair in love and war. Maybe it's doubly fair, if you combine the two. Well, it's a harsh penalty to pay, but I understand. Absence does make the heart grow fonder, after all. And perhaps if I go to heaven and you remain on earth, your true feelings towards me shall awaken. That's right, Seda. Doesn't hurt to drive. Indeed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we are horrible. <laughs> then I should do as you have instructed, Lilim. They say if you love somebody, you should be willing to let them go, and that is precisely what I'll do now. As you, Lilim, I must depart, but I will think of you the whole time we are parted. And with that, Seda vanished in a flash of light. Damn. I sighed deeply and dissolved my gun into non-existence. My Cupid uniform goes next until I look like an ordinary human once more. 
An ordinary human with bright pink hair and pink eyes. Ah oh, well. They're less substantious than the wings. Jeez. What a pain. I sigh and stretch my arms above my head. Ugh. Yeah. I haven't been in a serious fight for a while. One wrong move and Seda could have speared me. I managed to make it out unscathed this time, but what about the next? I sent Seda away for now. But it's only a temporary measure knowing her. Knowing her, she'll come back. If Lady Gabriel gave her an official order to bring me back to heaven, she can't not come back. Double negatives. Sarah, Sarah values her status as a cupid far too much. But does she value it even more than our friendship? <sighs> I better be on my guard from now on. Ever since I shot Minsky, my life has become incredibly complicated. And all I ever wanted to do on earth was relax and eat snacks. Why must fate conspire against me like this? Why is everything so difficult? I don't know. I didn't make this world. And I'm back. Hey, you alright, Misky? Uh, I'm fine. I'm a little shaken about everything that happened at the pipe, though. I think any would be, anybody would be shaken by that. I just wanted to go on a nice, relaxing date with you. <laughs> huh? So that's the part that's shaking you? Well, yeah, I thought I'd be able to spend some quality alone time with you, but then this other girl appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, she wanted to get to the smooching. It just isn't fair. And you don't care what that would keep it, and we can sprout wings, and we're from heaven? Well, I did think that was kind of weird. <laughs> kind of, yeah, just kind of. <laughs> but I always sense there was something strange about you. You don't act like an ordinary human. Sure, that's fair, that's fair. I think that's what drew me... I think that's what drew me to you to begin with. <laughs> so you don't mind that I shot you with a love bullet? I don't mind. You shot me with a love bullet the moment I set my eyes on you. Well, that's reassuring, but is it really the truth, though, is it? Sarah might have a point. My love bullets are custom-made. They're a lot stronger than the arrows Cupid's typically use. I thought I'd given you a diluted shot, but I might have made a mistake. You think you love me, but your feelings might not be true. They could be an illusion. When the after effects fade away, you'll come to your senses. You'll be the same old Mitski you were before. And your feelings for me will probably change. Your feelings for me... Oh, damn, look at that. I've got the one tear in my eye and that. That might be a lie. Hear them. Mitski leans forward on the couch. She extends her hands, linking her fingers together. Oh, hello. Her palm is soft and warm. It's comforting. My feelings for you aren't a lie. But how do you know that? I'll admit, I did feel kind of funny at the cafe yesterday. I don't remember it too well. This is literally the day after. Oh, wow. But I guess that would be when you shot me. All of a sudden, I was hit with a desire to be honest for once in my life. I wanted to confess my real feelings to you without hiding behind a mask. Maybe you did coerce me into confessing, but you didn't change my feelings. I loved you from the very beginning. You just helped me be more open about it. I know myself better than anybody, and I know my feelings aren't a lie. Damn. They're not. I really have had more fun with you than I've had in the last few years of my life. And if anybody says that's not true, I'll tell them that they're wrong. Damn. Even if that person's you. Misky. Damn. I stare at her in awe. Unbidden. I find myself squeezing her fingers with my own. She really is strong. Yes, she is indeed. She's far, far stronger. Ah, <sighs> oh, excuse me. I didn't sleep very well last night. I slept very late, so I woke up with the biggest bit of sleep in my eyes in ages. Far, far stronger than I ever imagined. I want to stay with you, Lillian. That's the truth. Really? Really? Always? Yes, always. I'll stay by your side no matter what. It's very reassuring to hear, but Seda won't give up. She wants me to go back to heaven. She was ordered to bring me back by Gabriel herself. Then we'll have to drive Sarah off, no matter how many times it takes. She was your friend at school, wasn't she? She should understand. It'd be nice if that were true, but Sarah is remarkably stubborn. And even if we manage to fend her off for good, Gabriel will come and get me herself. She could be quite scary when she gets serious. You're telling me we saw the spanking, we know. Then we'll find her too. Gabriel's one of the archangels who governs heaven. She's far stronger than me. I don't 
don't care. My love for you is stronger than anything. Damn, risky. It isn't like you to give up, Lilim. You're not acting... You're not acting like the cool woman I know. Damn. Believe in yourself. Believe in my love for you. If we're together, we can do anything. Risky. She is... Cool. I, I actually like Mitsuki. I find myself smiling before I can stop myself. Why does being with this silly human girl make my heart so light? <laughs> Thank you, Mitsuki. <laughs> I don't really want to go back to heaven, so I'll do my best and I won't give up. I'm going to stay on Earth no matter what. <laughs> it doesn't matter if Gabriel or even Raphael or Uriel or any other archangels try to pull me away. I'll fight them all. I have to. I think... Finally, I've found a place in this big, wide world world where I can be myself. Where I can be happy. Where I belong. Oh, that's cute. Meanwhile, in the celestial office of Archangel Gabriel, one of the seven overseers of heaven. This is going to go well. So you let her escape. That's right. I am. I'm very sorry, Lady Gabriel. This has happened solely because of my own carelessness. Well, I'm glad you're willing to take responsibility for your mistakes. But I am disappointed, Seraphim. You graduated from Cupid Academy with the highest grades in your cohort. Lilim was only barely able to scrape by. You should have been able to apprehend her with relative ease. I know, it's my fault. It's because I made a mistake. I didn't realize how cunning she is. How cunning can she be? Her grades across the board were lower than average. She doesn't even seem to be particularly intelligent. Wow, you're basing off the numbers instead of speaking to the person. Always a dangerous thing. It's like if you look at two people from separate universities, one's a much higher university and one's a much lower one. And you're comparing the lowest from the um, highest university and the highest from the lowest university and saying they're totally different, when in reality they could be quite similar because of the material they get. But then again, you wouldn't even know because you don't know what they're being taught and how they're being taught. So that's a misjudgment on your part, Gabriel. Damn. It's because Lilim's lazy. She's smart, I've known that, but she never bothered applying herself. Not until she went to Earth and met a human girl. Ah, yes, the human girl. Tell me, how much does she know? Well, um, about that. It seems the girl didn't know all that much. So Lilim didn't tell her about her true identity? No, she didn't. See? She didn't. I don't think the girl knew anything about Heaven or Cupid until... Until? Um, uh, until I descended to Earth to apprehend Lilim. So you engaged in combat with Lilim in front of a human? Yes, you did. That was bad in your end. Yes. I must say, Sarah. This doesn't sound like you. I did tell you to bring Lilim back by any means possible, but I thought you'd be a bit more careful. I'm sorry, it was foolish of me. I underestimate how close Lilim would be with that human girl. They were nigh inseparable, and Lilim even used her magic to protect that girl during our fight. It was like she really cared about her. Maybe that's why she was fighting so hard. I didn't expect her to take it so seriously. Lilim's never taken anything seriously before, so why? Why that girl? That is something you'll have to uncover for yourself. If it is true, this human girl was largely ignorant about heaven until you intervened. Then you have committed a grave offense. You'll never be promoted to an angel if you continue to act so carelessly. Oh, damn. Oh, Lady Gabriel, I'm sorry. Apologies mean little. Words are empty. What I want is action. Uh, yes, of course. It's now of the utmost concern that you bring Lilim back. Bring her to me, and erase the memories of that human girl too. If you don't, I won't be your. Prom it won't be your promotion that's on the line. You might get banished too. Whoa! Oh wow! B banished? But of course, I can't trust careless Cupid to leak our secrets to the masses. Yikes! Well, just shows the opinion that she's got of uh, Seraphim right now. Yikers! It would be a fitting punishment, don't you think? But, 
I graduate from Cupid Academy at the top of my class. I've always applied myself seriously and diligently, and I was following your I was just following your orders. I tried my best, but Lynn got the better of me. Then you better work doubly hard this time. Believe me. It pains me to say this too. You are one of heaven's shining beacons. You're a wonderful woman, but do not let me down again. Otherwise there will be hell to pay. Yes, of course. I'll make up the preparations to apprehend them right away. Good. See to it that you do. Jesus. <sighs> I'm surrounded by incompetent fools. How hard can it be to return one rogue cubie back to heaven? I thought you were supposed to be smart, Seraphim, but now I'm having doubts. Ooh. Jesus. You are mean. If she can't bring Lillian back next time, then I might have to step in. Maybe the old saying is true. If you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. Damn, we might get invaded by her. Whoa, okay, this is cool. Hello. I like this background. Just stairs on clouds and then there's the one gate up there. Oh, cool. Outside the offices of heaven. I still can't believe that happened. How did I let Lilim get the better of me? She might be more creative fighter than I am, and her weapons are more powerful, but I have more experience in combat. The old Lilim I know wouldn't have protested so fiercely. She's always been so lazy. Maybe I underestimated her. There might, there must be a reason she was so determined during our fight. <sighs> dots, dots. That human girl. Mitsuki, was it? I wonder what their relationship is really like. They then fought me to protect Mitsuki. She gave it everything she had. Her eyes were blazing. Yeah, she... She went like a mad lady. She was so passionate. I've never seen her look that serious before. Is it all because of that human girl? Dots, dots. It's not fair. Lynn has only known her for a few months. What's so special about that girl anyway? She didn't look so special to me, and I've known Lynn long. Oh, oh! Lynn used to be my friend. I can't stand it. I have to bring Lynn back to heaven no matter what. She belongs to me. I won't let that human girl have her. This time I won't lose. Oh, damn. So now she's doing it out of jealousy. God damn it. Mm. Oh, my bed is so warm and toasty. Oh, I never want to wake up. Hmm? Uh, just five more minutes. Hey, Lim. I said just five more minutes. Hey, Lim. Come on, Mitsuki. I already said I want five more minutes. Oh. Oh, wow. You're attacking me in bed. How low can you get? I stop. The person in my room holding the bow and arrow isn't Mitsuki. It's Setter. So, I transform into my Cupid uniform. My lingerie melts from my body to be replaced by a skin-tight suit. What are you doing here so early in the morning? I came to retrieve you as soon as I could. And the Lady Gabriel's orders. Ah, oh, how sweet. You're that desperate to see me, huh? <laughs> Shut up. How did you even get inside my room? Good question. <laughs> I glance at the window. It's open. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I must have forgotten to lock it last night. Did you seriously fly into my room while I was asleep? What of it? It's kind of creepy. <laughs> You're telling me. I hope you weren't staring at me while I was asleep. As if I do something like that. I wasn't thinking about how you... I wasn't thinking about how unusually clear you were when you kept your mouth shut for more than five minutes of anything. Barker. Okay, I have to ring it again. There we go. Done. Sure. <laughs> Stella really isn't good at lying, is she? Nope. She's so inept at the art of falsehood. It's kind of adorable. <sighs> Stella inhales deeply and squares her shoulders. She looks at me staunchly. I might have failed yesterday, but I won't fail now. I've strengthened both my heart and resolve. You're coming back to, with me, whether you want to or not. So you want to ambush me? That's right. You know, this tactic would have been a lot more effective if you hadn't woken me up first. True. Why didn't you inca incapacitate me while I was asleep? Yeah, th that wouldn't be fair. Lady Gabriel might have ordered me to bring you back using any myth possible, but, but I at least want to give you a chance to defend yourself. Besides, you used to be my best friend. 
Oh, how sweet. You really are a darling, Sarah. But that's why you'll never be able to be be able to best me. Oh damn. I rise from my bed at the exact moment Sarah fires her magical arrow. I throw the duvet up high in the air over Sarah's head. What? The arrows pierce through the thin sheets easily. But it's enough to throw Sarah off balance. She missed what I said instead of hitting me. The arrow ricochet about my room. God damn it. I just had the place decorated and cleaned by a lovely little maid girl. How dare you. You ruined everything. The old clock on my bedside table that I never use is skewered against the wall. My mirror cracks in about five different places. A vase of flowers on my desk is splintered. Bits of ceramic and stagnant water and half-dead daffodils litter my floor. God damn. I'm a little annoyed about that, but it's no time to worry about the damages. I have to make my move now, while Seda's still incapacitated. I dash forward, kicking off against my bed. Lilim? Seda's managed to throw the torn duvet off her body. Finally, but it's a little too late. Too little too late. I already have her. My room's small. Seda uses a ranged weapon, so she's at a significant disadvantage. He should have just took me down when I was asleep. Fool! I use guns. If I can get this in close, she has no way to counter me. And that duvet was all the distraction I needed. I wrap my right arm around her, keeping her pinned in place. Pin, pinned in place? Hold on. Pinned in place? Grammar! Pinned in place. Come on. And summon Love Pounder with a slight flick of my wrist. My pistol materializes in a burst of pale pink light. I press the cold hard barrel of the gun against Seda's temple, just like before. We're pressed up so close together. I can feel her body trembling against mine. I can hear her heartbeat, her heart pounding in her chest. Ah, oh, that's cute, isn't it? It's cute that she tried to take me down using, um, well, she gave me fair warning, but it was the worst way she could have done it. There's nowhere for her to run. Nowhere to hide. Setter is actually cute. I like Setter. Looks like I've won yet again. I wouldn't count on that. Huh? Take this. Feel my divine wrath. Oh, hello. Sarah stamps on my right foot with the heel of a. Oh! Ah! Oh, that is a bitch move! Ow! Ah. <laughs> Ooh! With the heel of her boot. Ow! If you've ever been trod on with a heel, you know the pain. It hurts! Ridiculously! That's. that really smarts. What? That's really smart. What's so divine about that? I'm a cupid. Everything I do is divine. Even going to the restroom? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I must take a divine sploosh. <laughs> <laughs> a divine sploosh is all I need for it to be divine. <laughs> Enough. Set a grind her heel down on my foot. Oh, God. God, that's evil. I hope she hasn't broken anything. Alarmed and in pain, my grip on Seda loosens. She throws me over her shoulder. My body goes flying through the air, and I land on my duvet with a thud. I bounce once, twice, and then stop. My head pounded. You mean he? It was payback for shooting me with that love bullet last time. It's not my fault you left yourself wide open. Yeah, and now you're the one who's open. Aha. Uh -huh. Seda points her bow an arrow at me once more. She presses the tip of the arrow against my cheek. I blink up at her, pinned to my bed on my back, just like a bug. I have you now. She's right. I don't have a duvet anymore. It's crumpled up on the floor. I can't use it to protect myself and neither can I use it to confuse Seda. We did. We're dead unless Mitski comes in with a frying pan. Then we're saved. There's nothing for me to do. Nowhere for me to run. You put up a good fight, but it's clear who the victor is. Uh-huh. Now lie back and accept defeat. You mean... You're going to shoot me with that thing? Of course. If you shoot me at such close range, you could do some real damage. That didn't stop you from shooting me in the head. That's a fair point, I guess. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? That's fair. Compared to the humiliation you put me through, I think I'm being rather kind. I'll shoot you. I'll make you fall in love with me. Even if it's only for a few minutes. And then I'll bring you back to heaven. Wait, what? So that's her plan, is it? It's simple, but it'll be hard for me to wriggle out of this sticky situation. She just needs to draw back the bow and arrow and it's all over. I'll go back to heaven, Mitski. 
Set her all the way to Misky's memory. I can't let that happen. I won't let that happen. No! What can I do? Hold on. There's only one way you can do this. Uh, I, I'm i going to try the flight room route. Well, I always knew this day would come. What are you talking about? It was obvious. If we ever fought seriously, you'd beat me. I mean, you always beat me in school. I expel a heavy breath from my chest and look up at the ceiling. That was no match for you after all. My cheat tricks can't compare to your level of skill. I should have known. Let him. Sarah shifts slightly. Her grip on the bow slackers. There we go. There we go. I think you fought honorably, too. You tried your best. Anna. It's not. It's kind of you to say that. But, it, but I was nothing compared to you. I, I think you're quite remarkable, too. Please don't put yourself down like that. No, no, I deserve to get castigated. I was uh, foolish to ever try to fight, stand against you. Don't. Sarah looks at me. She blinks. She's starting to waver. She said she's firmed up her resolve, but I wonder. If I push a little harder, maybe I can make it crack. If I could, I'd go back in time. I'd agree to go back to heaven with you in a heartbeat. If I could avoid this humiliation. I'm gonna... Do you really mean it? That's right. If I return to heaven, which now I see that I must, I prefer to go on my own volition as your equal, rather than your puppet, my mind controlled by lust. And now for the finishing blow. We used to be friends once, didn't we, Sarah? Oh! That's right, we were best friends. Then will you do me this one favour? Will you put down your bone and let me go back to heaven with you, side by side, like the friends we once were? I don't want to be apprehended like a criminal. Jesus! Yeah, you're going for all the points. Lilim. Sarah shifts. She bites her lower lip. What a cutie. <laughs> she really is pure. Maybe she's too pure. And what about the human girl? What about her? I thought you cared for her. You defended her yesterday, and you seemed rather opposed to the idea of her memories being wiped. Don't you care about what happens to her? Don't be silly, Seda. I care about you much, much more than any silly human girl. Well, if you're sure... Slowly. Very slowly. Seda retracts her bow. She moves the tip of her arrow away from my chest and lets her weapon dissolve in a shower of particles. Here. Damn. With a small smile, Seda extends her hand towards me. Can you stand? Thank you, Seda. I accept her hand tremulously. Thank you for being such a good friend and my eyes flash. Thank you for being so easy to trick. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Sarah squeals in alarm. With one movement, I summon my pistol from thin air and press it against Seda's temple. Y you tricked me. That's right. Now, hold still. I don't guess Seda a chance to try and fight back this time. My foot still still smarts. What? What? No, we come on. Mm. Still smarts. You know, when somebody hits in your arm and it smarts. When somebody headbutts you and your head smarts, you lose smarts. This just reading that made me lose smarts. Come on, that's that's nothing. That looks nothing like hurts or aches. Really? And I don't want her stamping on the other one. I won't let her. Without mercy, I press my fingers against the trigger. Yeah. And I fire yet another love balloon into Seda's head. Oh my. Oh, she's in normal clothes again. And I'm gonna end this here. Do you know what? This feels like a good place to end it off. Wow, two battles in one. <sighs> Whew. Jesus. This had a lot of things happen in it in this episode. I'm a little surprised, actually. But yes, as I said before, I'm all out of time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this ride. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want any more from me. And I shall see you in the next video. So does you guys. Almost certainly. See you next time. I'm going to go drop an elegant... <laughs>